All right, welcome back. Uh, this is gonna be a quick video. I wanted to go over uh, something that I had to do recently, which was um, fetching data from an Azure table and then displaying that back to the user as an adaptive card in Copilot Studio. Uh, so to demonstrate this here, let me go over to Azure Storage Explorer. I went ahead and set up an Azure table called Computer Parts. And this table has uh, has category, product ID, product name, quantity, unit price. So just a nice example table. Um, I used Azure tables all the time for for uh, various storage and and uh, to dynamically pull into different automations data. Uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and look at how to get this information into Copilot Studio. So first thing I did, I had my table set up. I went and got a uh, shared access signature. So just click get shared access, access signature there and default query is fine, just the expiration time. And then when you click create, you'll get a, uh, I'll go ahead and do that now, click create and then get this nice URL. So let's take a look at this URL here. So go back over to Edge. I'm just going to paste this into the browser window so we can look at what gets returned. Okay, so we get, uh, by default, we get an XML format. So let's edit and resend this request. All right, I'm going to go ahead and click edit and resend. So if we change the uh, in the request headers, we can change the accept string to application class JSON. And we need to specify the metadata. Uh, let me go back over here. So but over in Copilot Studio, let's see. Okay. Didn't remember what the, <laughs> what the string needed to be. Okay, so I copied it in here. All right, so let's try that again. Okay, that's what I was expecting to get. So now I'm getting a JSON output. And let me expand this, which is what I want. And without the uh, table metadata, the, o the data metadata. So if we look at this, here, let's prettify. Uh, beautify this JSON. Okay. Yeah. So we get our uh, basically we get our table information back, right? in uh, JSON format. Okay, so over in Copilot Studio, I went and I created a new topic. I said, uh, use this tool to display available computer part, computer parts, let me change this, computer part inventory. Okay, so then I added an HTTP request. And in that request URL, I just popped that in, in that uh, uh, URL from the shared access signature that I copied and then in the, in the headers we need to edit that we need to put in our accept key with that applications uh, forward slash JSON uh, semicolon and then O data equals no metadata so we don't want that O data well I didn't want that O data metadata uh, bodies empty we don't need to put anything for that and then um, so Copilot Studio will run this HTTP request, HTTP request and then store that JSON response into a computer table array. But if we go back and look at what was sent back, it'll actually store it in a 
and a val and a um, value object. That array will be inside value. So we need to parse out that. So what I did back in Copilot Studio is I added a parse value. Well, first I save this as computer table array. It's just the name of the variable I put in. And then, then I added parse value and then I put topic dot computer table array dot value to extract out uh, that value object from the JSON table or the JSON response and then uh, uh, in the schema you can just do from sample and uh, put in that uh, JSON array so in the schema it has uh, it's a table with properties category partition key product ID product name quantity row key timestamp unit price okay so from there I added send message and then and here I added add adaptive card and let's take a look at this formula so this is what it looks like so uh, I have type is a fact set and if we go over to the Adaptive, uh, adaptive card schema explorer. Let's look at what a fact set looks like. So this is a this is a fact set here. So it would be basically a, a bunch of key key value pairs. All right, and this is what the schema looks like. You have a JSON array for facts and then you have title, value, key value pairs. So going back to the formula editor here. So in order to dynamically fill this in, we have to use the for all uh, power effects function. So it's for all uh, bracket open, I'm sorry, um, parentheses and then topic dot and then you put the topic variable so any topic variable always starts with topic if it was a global variable to start with global and then topic uh, dot computer table which is the name of the variable I used in that parse action and then you need we need title and value so for title I'm putting the category out of that uh, the category value out of that uh, Azure table, and we put this record dot category. So this record, it's kind of like a, a for each loop, and it's uh, this record is the variable that stores the current item. Uh, in PowerShell, that would be the equivalent to doing dollar sign underscore or uh, dollar sign ps item, <clears throat> and then in value. Uh, I'm putting, I'm concatenating some strings uh, with uh, expanded variables. So um, this is a good example of doing that. You just put uh, double quotes, whatever text you want to type in, and then use ampersand, and then the variable you want to expand. So this record uh, product name. So I'm having name, uh, colon, and this record dot product name and uh, quantity colon and this record that quantity. So when we go ahead and run this, I say uh, uh, list out the current part inventory. It's giving me an error <laughs> because I created a new shared access signature. So let me uh, go ahead and pop in that new URL here. It's 
save that. All right, let's try this again. All right, so now this should uh, dynamically fill that adapter card with uh, with the values from that Azure table, which is exactly what I wanted. So in the left column, I have the, the category. So we have a case and then uh, the name and the quantity. And if we wanted to say we wanted to sort this by category, we could go back here in the adapter card formula and we, we can just add in the uh, sort function. So next to the uh, next to the variable topic.computer table, I'm just going to add sort. And then sort just takes uh, takes two parameters. So it takes the object you want to sort and then the value you want to sort by. And it's a category. And Maybe I'll just take out this, take out this part, so it'll be a little bit easier to read. All right, let's go ahead and save that. Restart this. 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 All right. And now, yep, it's nicely sorted uh, in descending order of the category, sorted alphabetically. So, so that's a quick demo. This was uh, something I had to figure out how to do recently for work, and uh, it's actually quite simple. Uh, I originally, what I was doing at work, I originally had a an adapter card where I had <laughs> statically typed in every key value pair. I was trying to put back and I was like, no, you know, I really need this to adapt to, you know, dynamically pull in the content from somewhere because I, I, I can't be going in and updating this every time something changes. So that's a very simple way to dynamically pull in that data. All right. Thanks for joining me. And if you like this video, go ahead and uh, hit the like button and um, uh, feel free to subscribe for more content related to Copilot Studio. Thank you.